it's very clear that the more we do in terms of research looking at this group of individuals, we find how much we don't know. And each research point that gets us one step closer to an idea raises five more ideas. So the frustrating thing as a parent is that we get one step closer, but we raise an enormous number of other questions by every step we take. Was your, was your belly bothering you last week? Yes. Well, we can ask Dr. Bowie about it. Yes, I wasn't feeling well. I think one of the biggest questions that I still want to answer is could the gut be a source of autism? Could something that goes wrong in the gut account for the development of autism? That remains a major question. And it's a very complicated question because we have to think about autism as, as, as manifold in its presentation. Not all children who present with the diagnosis of autism probably have the same condition. And as Tom Insel at the NIH has suggested, autism is probably autisms, and that there are many pathways to come to this neuro neurodevelopmental outcome. There are certainly children who are genetically at risk for that. We know they are because there are many family members who are diagnosed within some settings. We know it's not all about genetics, that there are some children who may have that same genetic loading who don't go on to develop autism. So we have to look at the idea that there are environmental cofactors that might be triggering these problems off in certain individuals, but not setting other individuals off. So we know we need to be looking at those environmental cofactors that are going on. The gut is an, a rich field that needs to be looked at in terms of those environmental cofactors because they are, that's an entryway to the body. And food that might be uh, somehow setting off problems needs to be looked at. Chemicals that are taking, taken in as part of those dietary sources, supplements that were being offered, all of those things might be a source of problems for some individuals. And it may not be the same for some individuals.